Resolve version 18.5 is out and there is a very, very cool feature called Relight. It magically figures out where everything is in your shot and which way all of the 3D faces are facing and it lets you add a digital light so that you can relight things in a realistic way. Now this feature is only in the studio version, that's the paid version of Resolve, but Boy, it's really cool. We'll probably be doing a few tutorials on this kind of thing. But here's something particularly mind-blowing that I want to show you using Relight for a day-to-night conversion. Let's go. So here I have a shot. This is from our Intro to Resolve course. And this was shot during the day, but it's supposed to be a night shot. And typically what we do is we would color correct this to look darker. And then we would do some fancy compositing to kind of add some lighting back in and everything like that. We did shoot this with the day-to-night conversion in mind. And we were really smart this time and actually turned on these lights and not only that but added some higher powered led lights here to kind of accentuate this light feel so even though it's really bright we do have these practical lights on which is going to sell the effect a little better so let me show you how this works so we'll do a little bit of prep here and then we'll get into the relight stuff the first thing we're going to do is color manage this and I'm just going to do this with a color space transform in our second node here if you don't know what the heck a color space transform is I have a video on that right here. And so we have that set up. This is just going to give us our normal looking colors. Now, this looks like we shot it in the day. So let's fix that. The first thing I'm going to do is just take our offset down quite a bit and maybe take our gain down a lot just so things are a lot darker. Okay. I'll also maybe take the saturation down. And what I really want is this to look like this is shot, you know, when it's almost dark. Take the gain down just a little more. And maybe we'll take the offset just a little bit cool so that this is starting to look like this was shot in the evening time. Okay, so most of this shot looks pretty good, I would say. It's interesting how light shots are that are supposed to be at night in the movies. So I wouldn't say this is too far from where we need to be. Maybe I'll take the gamma down a little bit just to crush those dark places down a little bit. Something like that I think is probably okay for now. I'll make another node here and we'll work on the sky. So we'll call this sky. This first node we'll call primary. And what we're doing is just making everything look like it's nighttime. And then we're going to work on these lights with our relight node. So let's select a window and I'll just grab this pen tool here that'll make a power window. And let's just select kind of the top part of this house and over here and i'm just going to make kind of a big selection of the sky so that we can adjust the sky separate from the rest of the house because the sky is a little bit bright so i'll just roll down on my scroll wheel over this gain master wheel like this i'm just taking this gain down to where it looks like that sky isn't just lighting everything okay and then maybe we'll make that a little bit blue as well yeah, something like that. And now if I switch off of our window palette, we'll see we have this pretty harsh line here. So we want to soften that. So we'll go back to our windows here and I can just push the outside up and that will give me this double line. And now I can kind of decide myself how I want this to sort of fade out. So let's just kind of bring this down here just so our line isn't so harsh something like that maybe maybe we'll even bring this up a little bit so we don't want there to be an obvious line we also don't want to darken this house too much but i think something like that will probably do we have these kind of dark shadows here we have the dark sky something along those lines so here's before and here's after just taking down that top so now this looks sort of like it was shot at night but one problem is that these lights are not bright enough they're obviously turned down which is gonna be a problem for that whole realism thing. This is where the magic of relight comes in because what we can do is make a layer over this that uses the starting image. So let's go ahead and I'll just hit Alt L. That's gonna make a new layer node and let's adjust this. I don't want this to come from our primary. I want this to take from our original image like this. And as I hook that up, we're just going to look at our original image. So it's like we did nothing in these nodes. We're just putting the original image back over everything else. That's what this layer mixer does. So we're taking the original image and just laying it on top so that we essentially have an untouched image. And now what we can do is use this normal looking lighting and just limit this with an alpha on this node and it's going to put it on top of our dark image. So if I were to do something like grab a window, click circle here, it's going to be light inside of the circle and then our corrected image that looks darker outside of the circle. So we can do some pretty cool stuff here with this. I can just bring this down and then soften it like this. And I can bring this in and just put that there over our light. And you know, it looks all right. It looks okay. I can kind of put that there and 
we have a normal looking light. It's not the most realistic looking thing, but you get kind of where we're going here. And so I can put this wherever I want there to be a light and it, you know, it does a pretty good job of looking like there's lights, okay? So this is where the relight node comes in very handy. I'll just right click and reset this node grade. And let's go over to the effects and I'm gonna search for relight. Again, this is only available in the paid version of Resolve, but if you have the studio version, you should have relight here and I'll grab this and drag it onto our top layer here. And what'll happen is Resolve will think about this shot and it will analyze it and it will make a normal map. A normal map is just a map of which way are the 3D faces in our scene facing. So anything that's facing up is green. Anything that's facing kind of to the right is pink. Anything that's facing to the left is sort of this blue and so on. And so it can kind of tell which way things are facing. And therefore, if there's a light here, how the light would be illuminating it. So I'll just uncheck output surface map here. And now we see a little preview of what areas are being affected by our light. So this is just a point light. And so I can move this around and you can kind of see how it moves with the curvature of things. So if I want to put this on the roof, it lights up the roof. If I want to put this under the eave there, it just lights the eave. Really, really cool. I can also switch to a directional light, which will let me change the direction. And for certain shots, I would think you could do something like fake moonlight or fake sunlight with this and kind of turn it to golden hour. All kinds of cool stuff you can do. You can also do a spotlight, which will let you shine kind of a directional light on things, depending on what you're going for, right? I think for this one, we're just gonna go to point source. That's just a simple kind of one point light. And you can choose kind of how big the light is with this little slider. And I'm gonna make that pretty small. And what this is actually doing is this is making a mat that tells this node that we're on, whatever node we applied it to, where to do the node things that it does. So it's essentially controlling the transparency of the node, which when you have a layer node is going to be the transparency of the image that's being laid over the background image. So for this to get magical, all I really have to do is go to this relighting map preview and uncheck that. And now we have our original image put over our background image, but it looks a lot more realistic because we're using that normal map. So now I can put this point light right where this light is, maybe a little under it, and I can turn this way down like this. And now we have a much more realistic looking light here. Just turn off our overlays. And now, I mean, man, that looks really convincing. So this is before without any light and this is after. So we're filling in this shadow here. We're not illuminating the ground as much or over here. We're just illuminating this surface. And man, that just is so cool. <laughs> it's even like shining a little bit here on this side. Oh. That's just so neat. Let's just grab a still of this. So this is compared with doing something like having just a circle, you know, which you can still make look good. You know, that looks pretty good. And if I wipe this, the image on the right is our relight node and the image on the left is our circle node. And so you can see it's kind of being lit up here. This little part is being lit up. It's all just kind of a uniform circle. Whereas here on the right, we have a much more realistic kind of light coming in right here. And it's just kind of accentuating the real light there. It's not getting bright on the edge of this lamp, whereas the circle window is doing a lot more realistic job of just kind of lighting everything. So let's reset this window and turn back on our relight. And now we have a really realistic light there that, I mean, just sells this immediately. Ah, oh, so good. And if we want to do multiple lights, all we have to do is just add another layer. I'll hit Alt L. And again, we'll just run relight on this, take this down, turn off our preview. And now we can add a light over here, add that this way. And we'll do one more layer. Again, just adding relight. You can probably hear my computer fan going. Uh, it does take a lot of computer power to run this relight plugin. So you wanna be careful how many times you kind of do this, but if you need to do some quick relighting, oh boy. This is just really nice. There we go. Maybe I'll turn that down a little more still. There we go, something like that. And now look at that. Oh, oh, it just looks great. It's amazing. Look at that. So here's without any of that lighting added and here's our lighting added back. Oh, it just looks so great. So maybe a situation where you wouldn't necessarily think about using relight since there's already light there. We're just using relight as a alpha mat to layer this original image back over the dark image. And man, it does a good job. I hope you enjoy this. I hope this has been inspiring for you. Hey, if you want to learn more about all these fancy things, we have courses for color grading. We have courses for compositing all at groundcontrol.film. Make sure to check those out. And we just recently upgraded all of our courses with all the new fancy things in 18.5. So very, very exciting. I hope this has been enlightening for you. That's just too easy. It's just too easy. <laughs>
everybody saw it coming. 